Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly. Today I have a project share video for you. I have been working on a um, wedding mini album um, using a combination of um, Alexandra M's um, boxed window card cart wagon thing um, and Genevieve's um, Paper Dream mini album um, printable templates. And so I used the Graphic 45 um, paper line, um, the Gilded Lily. So here's what that looks like to make this album. And I have to tell you, I am so in love with it. Um, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So this is again, the paper line I used. It was the Graphic 45 Gilded Lily. And this is the little wagon. Um, and I used a couple of Tim Holtz things, the Tim Holtz um, pulley wheels. These are the small ones because those are the ones that I had, but it's on this beautiful little wagon cart thingy. Um, and I just love it. I used a lot of flowers from um, I Am Roses and can't remember the other one, but um, Wild Orchid Crafts. So these are the roses, and then this was also a Tim Holtz um, custom knob, and I just created, um, I used a one inch punch, and I punched a hole out of some pretty coordinating um, paper because this actually is not the Gilded Lily. This is from another um, paper pack, but I just, it fit perfect because it's a little crown and it's pink and it matches the pink in this paper. So. In this, um, I'm going to take the lid off here in a second, but um, you, this was the front and this is the back. So it's got that center piece from the paper uh, pack. And this little window here, it's a shaker window. And then you can see through the window the mini album that's inside. So um, I'm going to take this lid off. Again, it's it's a shaker, so it's got lots of all these pretty things, and these, um, the sequins in here are um, from various places, and then the beads that I used, I used two different sizes of the little um, micro beads that I found on Amazon, and I'll put the links to all of that in the description box, but I just wanted to show you. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of shake. And then inside... Um, this lace is just some lace I had in my stash, and I this was like a solid white, a bright white like this um, lace down here, and I just used a Lindy Stamp Gang spray, and then um, to to make it brownish colored, and then all of this beading is um, bead trim that I got at a local fabric store that went out of business, and then this is some crochet trim that I had in my stash, so. Lots of fun there. And then this is the album. This is the, the little base. It has the wheels. Doot doot. Um, and I'll link to Alexandra's video on how she made this um, the little wagon part. Um, but this album was created using um, The Paper Dream by Genevieve Designs. And I'll put a link to her um, channel and her Etsy store where I found all this. She does some amazing work with creating these templates. They're all custom handmade templates. So um, a lot of fun to create with that. And this is what I came up with. So all of the paper in here is um, from the Gilded Lily. The pink and craft cardstock is Stampin' Up cardstock. Um, and I'll put a link to my Stampin' Up store if you're interested in that. But I also had the um, pockets and tags, um, accessories from the paper line, so I used it too. So there's this little pocket here. This is a cutout from the paper pack, paper pad, um, and then I just slipped a couple of extra pieces in here. So um, this is what the mini album looks like. Lots of pockets and inserts. Um, some of them I used uh, Velcro and some of them I used magnets. Um, so lots of little inserts, little pockets. 
another little cutout from the paper line. So there's that. And all of these um, little tuck spots, I just glued sections of the little embellishments <clears throat> so that you could use it as a tuck spot. Um, and then there's a this is a magnet closure. So there's that one. Um, and all of these pages have an insert or photo mat inside. Um, and this is roughly a six by six. It's meant for um, to use with six by six paper but I did not have um, all of the six by six of this particular collection, so I used um, the 12 by 12 and a six by six, um, and not all of it, because I have a lot left over. But anyway, there's lots of cute little tuck spots. This is another little tuck, um, and this is held closed with a piece of Velcro. Um, another little tuck here. <clears throat> and a pocket with, this is another little tuck spot, um, just a photo mat in this little pocket. Close that up. Um, a little section here with a um, cute little journaling spot. And that goes in there. Another little pocket, little envelope type pocket. Um, with some journaling cards and photo mats and just lots of goody, oozy, goozy, gushy stuff in it. Um, not literally, but you know. And it's this is also magnetized. Just so sweet. Um, here's another little tuck spot. And this is also held closed with a magnet. So here's another little pocket with a photo mat. And this is also a tuck spot right here. So there's that. Some more ephemera, journaling cards. Again, all of these have a, a little photo mat insert um, in the little pocket. Here's a little, a little booklet in this cute little pocket used a piece of the um, tags, the, the chipboard tags, as a little flap closure piece here. Um, and these are some brads that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, this is a flip out with a nice journaling spot, uh, just a card stuck in there. Um, this is a design that I an idea I got from um, another YouTuber. I cannot remember who it was, but she cut, she put tape on the back of the paper and then cut a little slit and, in, and glued a um, paper clip to the back side of the paper to use as a genius little tuck spot like that. Um, and then here's a little insert pocket a little piece in there for fun. So all of that closes up. Again, another pocket. A um, little pocket here with a insert with a, another tuck spot. And, you know, whoever gets this, they can glue that down if they don't like it as a tuck spot. Um, but I thought it would be neat to put like little tickets or little notes or something in there as just an extra little place. And then some more ephemera. Um, and then this is another one of those pockets from the pockets and tags. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of blends in a little bit, but there's that. Um, so here's a tag and another ephemera card. I love this one. Let's be elegant or die. Um, so that just slides in that little pocket like that. And here's the back and the spine and I just have to tell you I love this album so much and when it goes in you take your little wheeled base and set it in there it's just big enough um, and then you put the lid on so there is my mini album um, using a combination of Alexandra M's wagon, wheeled wagon, 
um, I forget exactly what she calls it, but like I said, I'll put it in the description. Um, so it uses her box with the shaker element um, and Genevieve Harrison's um, Genevieve Designs Paper Dream mini album templates. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If there's something you want to see, please feel free to let me know. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, to like this video. If there's uh, any other videos that you want to see, um, some of my other project shares, let me know. And a special announcement for anyone who is interested in receiving the leftovers of this um, paper pack um, from the Gilded Lily. I'll just show you. It's you know, I used quite a bit of the paper, but there are still some great pieces left. If anybody is interested in um, taking my scraps, I will be having a drawing, and I'll do that um, as a video. But if you would like to get all of my scraps, please hit the a thumbs up to like this video, and then leave a comment in the description. Um, in the comment section and I'll put you in for a drawing and we will do that drawing on Sunday um, September the 10th I believe that's Sunday um, today's the 8th so um, again if you want these scraps there's like most of a 6x6 six six paper pad in here um, there's some um, some random pieces um, of plain card stock. There's, um, again, like I said, most of the six by six paper pad is in here. There are some leftover little, um, pockets and tags and the ephemera cards. And, um, this is, I didn't, I only used that one piece of this chipboard, but here's the chipboard. Um, you can see I only used that piece. This is the chipboard elements that came with the paper line. Um, so anyway, I will have a drawing. Don't forget, you have to like the video. You also have to leave a comment and I will put your name in for the drawing and we'll do the drawing on Sunday. Um, not sure exactly what time, but uh, let's call it, you have to be entered by um, Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Central time and I'll do the video sometime that afternoon. So, and I'll get it posted for you. All right, guys, I hope you again like this video and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.